Hello everybody, this is Fronty Bobman and welcome back to Brent Steely Hunger Games. Yes, this is the second one I'm doing. Yes, I'm doing this the same day I did the first one. However, I really enjoyed doing the first one and I really want to do a second one. So I might as well do it the same day I did the first one. Um, after, so, uh, unfortunately, um, the next Thomas and Friends comedy video, which was supposed to be up today, is going to be delayed until tomorrow because I felt lazy today and I didn't make it all day. And, uh, this is most likely, actually, no. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that this is gonna be the last video of the day, but then I remembered that I have to do Formula Legend. So, yes. So, um, so for this one, we have different competitors, except for one of them. So, on district number one, we have Evention and Mr. Bangy. On district number two, we have Lightning McQueen and his girlfriend Sally. On district number three, we have Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg. On, dis on district number four, we have Diesel D199 and EE93. Uh, uh, I shall probably do a thing on EE93 in, in an upcoming video. On uh, District Number 5, we have Keeper of Forage and Bioco Island Films. Forgot to include them in the previous video, but they are, well, uh, but they are here now. Uh, actually, I don't know if I forgot them or not. Who knows? Um, District Number 6, we have Toby and Duck. In District Number 7, we have Victor and Kevin. On uh, District Number 8, we have Chase Elliott and Dale Jr. On uh, District Number 9, we have El Jack Gaming and Rayhan, the winner of the previous... Hunger Games on district number 10. We have Brad Kislowski and Joey Logano on district number 11 We have Kyle Bush and Danny Hamlin and on district number 12. We have Tony Stewart and Danica Patrick I figured I would include some NASCAR dri well, racing drivers in general in this one and Thomas trains and yes So let's proceed on with this one all right, Hunger Games, the bloodbath. Oh yes, by the way, um, this video, this thing includes like murder and type things. So if you're disturbed by that kind of stuff, then you might want to click off of the video. So as the tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Keeper of Forge shakes a handful of throwing knives. EE ninety three takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Nico Rosberg wins a raid from the cornucopia. Eljad Gaming grabs a jar of fishing bait while Tony Stewart gets fishing gear. Victor and Denny Hamlin work together to drown Lightning McQueen. Duck snatches a pair a pair of cells. Lewis Hamilton runs away from the cornucopia. Danny Patrick runs away from the cornucopia. Mr. Bangy runs away from the cornucopia. Joey Logano is unable to convince Toby not to kill him. Brad Keselowski runs into the cornucopia. Runs into the cornucopia and hides. Kevin and Kyle Bush fight for a bag. Kevin gives up and retreats. Chase Elliott runs away from the cornucopia. Diesel D199 runs away from the cornucopia. Bob Collin Films runs away from the cornucopia. Evention overpowers Jill Jr., killing him. Rayhan runs away from the cornucopia. And Sally falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Wow! Straight away, she dies. Oh, by the way, um, this Kevin right here, uh, this isn't Kevin Harvick. This is actually Kevin from the Sodor Steamworks, not Kevin Harvick. So don't get those two confused. So any, let's just proceed now. Um, proceed. Alright. Eljad Gaming runs away from Ray Han. Danica Patrick camouflages herself in the bushes. Nika Rosberg fishes. Chase Elliott sprains his ankle while running away from Kevin. Lewis Hamilton is pricked by thorns whilst picking berries. Tony Stewart receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, but that unknown sponsor would be Mobile One. Keeper of Forage scares Evention off. EE93 begs for Duck to kill him. He refuses keeping EE 93 alive. Kyle Bush explores the arena. Mr. Bangy searches for a water source. Bob Quallen films Brad Kislowski, Victor, and Diesel D199 hunt for tributes. And Denny Hamlin stalks Toby. Interesting. Alrighty, falling tributes. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Now, I actually found out that these are all the people that died in the first. Like, there's different segments, and, and the people die from that segment. And these are all the people that died died so um so the people that died in the first one is lady mcqueen joey logano dale jr and sally yep both uh i mean i should do that again uh lady mcqueen from district number two joey logano from district number 10 dale jr from district number eight and sally from district number two so let's see everyone's status um yep so looks like evention has one kill and denny hamlin also has one kill 
Alright, so I might as well go into the thing, so let's proceed on. Alright, night number one. Mr. Bangy, Victor, Evention, and Bob Quallen films tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Danny Kilpatrick receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. That unknown sponsor being, um, being Natural Bakery. EE93 loses sight of where he is. Toby passes out from exhaustion. Duck stays awake all night. Kevin loses sight of where he is. Rayhan thinks about home. Yes, well, you might want to think about winning twice if you're lucky. Um, Lewis Hamilton shoots a poisonous blow dart into Eljack Gaming's neck, slowly killing him. Kyle Busch and Diesel D199 tell stories about themselves to each other. Nico Rosberg, Fiends Keeper, Porridge, Braskislavski, and Tony Stewart away from his fire. Chase Elliott sees a fire but stays hidden. And Denny Hamlin cooks his food before putting his fire out. Ah, oh, damn. Proceed. Oh, man, I was gonna... I f just forgot. I was gonna put... Jeff Gordon in this one, too late now. He'll probably be in the next one. Alright, day two. Danica Patrick makes a wooden spear. In fact, that's a thing that happened in, uh, in this thing that was hosted by uh, a different YouTuber called uh, Double E. Um, Nico Rosberg fishes. Mr. Bangy receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Um, Denny Hamlin and Kevin hunt for other tributes. Bob Quallen Films discovers a cave. Keeper of Porridge questions his sanity. Well, aren't we all, really? Rayhan sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Ooh, must be uh, Tony Stewart up to some mischief. EE93 receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Lewis Hamilton picks flowers. Kyle Busch is unable to convince Tony Stewart not to kill her or him. As I messed that up, oh dear. Uh, so, Tony Stewart, not to kill him, I should say. Evention and Victor hunt for other tributes. Toby diverts Brad Kislowski's attention and runs away. Duck constructs a shack. Chase Shelley attends to Diesel D199's wounds. Yeah, interesting. Alright, you're just over for falling tributes. Let's see everyone's status. So, um, looks like... Um, hang on. So, yeah, so now LJ Gaming and Kyle Bush are out of the game. LJ Gaming from District Number 9 and Kyle Bush from District Number 11. And if we see everyone's status, uh, Lewis Hamilton has a kill and Toby has a kill. Alrighty, let's proceed. Night 2. Toby questions his sanity. See, he seems that he's still doing that. Keeper Porridge and Diesel D199 fight Rayhan and Duck. Rayhan and Duck survive. Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg, Chase Elliott, and Bob Quallen films sell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Tony Stewart tries to treat his infection. Kevin tends to Evention's wounds. Mr. Bangy receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Denny Hamlin looks at the nice night sky. Danny Kilpatrick lets Brad Kislowski into her shelter. Victor questions his sanity. And EE93 receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. That would probably be that his fellow... Person, Diesel D199, or possibly Sidekick Jason, or, per or, or Percy, Engine 619, one of those guys. Alright, Day 3. Lewis Hamilton attacks Danny Kilpatrick, but she manages to escape. Duck forces Tony Stewart to kill Toby or Ray Hahn. He decides to kill Toby. Danny Hamlin goes hunting. Brad Kosowski, Evention, Bound Quallen Films, and, and Kevin raid EE93's camp while he is hunting. Mr. Bangy injures himself. Nick Rosberg tries to spear fish with a trident. Chase Shelley attends to Victor's wounds. Okay, so that's it for day number three. Now, following tributes. So now, Keeper Porch from District Number Five, Diesel D199 from District Number Four, and Toby from District Number Six are now out of the game. So we check the status. Um, Doug has two kills. Toby has one, although he's out of the game. Uh, Denny Hamlin has one kill. Tony Stewart. Two kills. Alrighty. Alright, and I'm pretty happy for Diesel D199 to die. I was really not rooting for him to win because, you know, he gave me that stupid copyright strike, which actually is about to go, actually, so I'm glad for that. Alright, proceeding on. Uh, Hunger Games, night number three. Nico Rosberg sets up camp for the night. Mr. Bangy receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Lewis Hamilton passes out from exhaustion. Danny Hamlin, Duck, Tony Stewart, and E93 tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Bob Quallen films at Rayhan sleep in shifts. Evention begs for Chase Elliott to kill him. He refuses keeping Evention alive. Um, Brad, uh, Victor, Brad Kislowski, Kevin, and Danny Kilpatrick sleep in shifts. Alrighty, night. So, now moving on to day number four. 
Danny Hamlin and Duck split up to search for resources. Tony Stewart sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Tony Stewart is seeing himself rising. That's interesting. Victor steals from Nico Rosberg while he isn't looking. EE93 kills Chase Elliott for his surprise. Whoops, well, that's the end of Chase Elliott. He won't be winning the 2016 season now. Too bad for him. Mr. Bangy thinks about home on the snail road, of course. Danny Kilpatrick travels to higher ground. Brad Keselowski travels to higher ground. Ray... Uh, Rayhan receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Evangent attacks Kevin, but he manages to escape. Lewis Hamilton stabs Bob Quall and films while his back is turned. Oh dear, that's a thingy Madhu flip to do. So, two candy shots can be heard in the distance, so now it's the death of Chase Elliott and Bioko Island Films. So, taking a look, both YouTube poopers are dead. Uh, Stuart House Racing is still alive. And so is Joe Gibbs Racing and Brett uh, T. Penske. Looks like uh, Hendrick Motorsports is dead. Stone Steel Mix is still alive. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty good. Alrighty. Proceed. Now, night number four. Mr. Bangy receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. Denny Hamlin tends to Danny, Danny Kapatrick's wounds. Brad Kislowski quietly hums. Ray Hunt and Evention hold hands. Oh, dear. Uh, Tony Stewart, E93, and Nico Rosberg cheerfully sing songs together. Kevin and Lewis Hamilton tell stories about themselves to each other. Victor sees a fire but stays hidden, and Duck loses sight of where he is. Uh, Duck, the Great Western Engine, is not becoming so Great Western. Alright, Hunger Games, day number five. Ray Hahn convinces Mr. Bangy to not kill him, only to kill him instead. Um, what does that mean? Um... So, did Rayhan die or something? Uh, dear. He might be out of the game. Danny Kirkpatrick sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Come on, Danny Kirkpatrick. Why you know investigate your own teammate? Not that, 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 not that it is her teammate. Brad Kozlowski, Tony Stewart, EE93, and Victor Hunt for other tributes. Duck receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Lewis Hamilton scares Denny Hamlin off. Ooh, F1 rebelling off to NASCAR. Uh, Kevin hunts for other tributes. Nico Rosberg tries to sleep through the entire day. Of course, he doesn't want to get into the confusion and delay. And Evention travels to higher ground. Proceeding. Alright, following tributes, only one of them, that being Mr. Bangy. Uh, it's from District Number 1. So, Mr. Bangy is now out of the game, and he is the only one to die in this thing. Tony Stewart still has, now has two kills. So, all the... So all the NASCAR teams are still alive except for Hendrick Motorsports, and that's all I can see different. Alrighty. Moving on. Night number five. Evention and Nico Rosberg sleep in shifts. Uh, Danny Hamlin bashes Duck's head against a rock several times. Ooh, dear. Victor thinks about home. Danny Kirkpatrick destroys Lewis Hamilton's supplies while he is asleep. Kevin quietly hums. Rayhan thinks about winning. Tony, ooh, yes. Cause he won the previous one. Maybe he'll want to. Maybe he'll want to win again. Yes. Tony Stewart cooks his food before putting his fire out. EE ninety three is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Brad Keselowski unknowingly eats toxic berries. Oh wow. Well, he just killed himself, dude. Oh dear. EE ninety three thinks about home. Rayhan injures himself. Ooh, that's not very good if you want to win. Kevin explores the area. Evention, Denny Hamlin, Lewis Hamilton, and Victor raid Danny Kapatrick's camp while she is hunting. Nico Rosberg receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, that being Mercedes, and Tony Stewart receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, that being Mobile One. So I th hopefully we're almost over. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance, that being Duck and Brad Keslowski. Oh, dear. So now, Team Penske is dead. Both of them are dead, so now the only remaining NASCAR teams are Joe Gibbs Racing and Stuart Haas Racing. Oh, dear. And Duck. Um, Duck also is dead. Alright, proceed. Alright, this might have to be split into two parts. I don't want to have to do this, but, uh, man, I'm going to try my best to hurry this up. Tony Stewart, Danny Kirkpatrick, and EE93 sleep in shifts. Ray Hahn and Kevin sleep in shifts. Uh, Lewis Hamilton and Evention huddle for warmth. Danny Hamlin convinces Nico Rosberg to snuggle with him. Oh, dear. Uh, Victor accidentally steps on a landmine. <laughs> well, you might, you might say accidentally 
um, rolls onto a landmine. Well, uh, that's going to have to be it for this video because it's getting too long. So this will be continued in the next video. See you then.